Joining us now is Saurabh Gupta. He's a senior Asia-Pacific policy specialist at the Institute for China-America Studies. So here we are at the wrap-up of the G20. I want to get your reaction to this conclusion and some of the big takeaways we saw the past few days. Uh, the big takeaway for me was, first of all, there were leaders-level meetings and they got things done or at least facilitated communications, strategic communications for the better. Secondly, the world is facing a multidimensional crisis, and despite the, the focus on Ukraine, and there was a lot of focus, the other parts, the other areas of development were not forgotten. The leader's declaration is very rich in talking about things like public health, climate change, uh, in terms of global food security, macroeconomic imbalances, debt sustainability, education, investment. So, I mean, the whole range of issues that are subsumed under this category of development were discussed, and hopefully there has been progress made in this regard. Leaders are very focused on what, the important, on what is important for, their, for the livelihoods of their citizens. And yes, this is a difficult time in which those decisions need to be made, but they have not dropped the ball, per se. They are very focused on it. Despite those discussions and the wide range of topics, um, was it surprising, though, that there was no joint communique? Well, it, yes, one can say there was no joint communique, but if one looks at the leader's declaration, it's like 20 pages long. That's as good as a joint communique. I, I really don't see much of a difference between what is the leader's declaration. Remember, this is not a chairman's statement when there's complete uh, disagreement among the parties, and so the chairman of or the chairperson then steps in and puts out a statement. This is the Bali leader's declaration, and that, I think, is perhaps better than a joint communique. So I, I wouldn't dwell too much on that. Talk to us about China's part in this summit. The first time President Xi Jinping uh, in about two years has seen so many leaders uh, having many discussions in person. And what he was, uh, you know, the message he was trying to send was forward-facing. What can you tell us about China's part here? Let me talk first about the message. And the message actually is a message that he also champions loudly at home. And that message is development, opportunity, and inclusion. What is good for China at home is also good for the world at large, regardless of how much China participates in that or not. And China is going to be a huge participant in that on that front. Uh, what he did talk about in the message coming out was that in these challenging times, what we do need is the hope, we need opportunity, and this must not be done in a zero-sum fashion with closed blocks and, 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 and that type of formulation. It should be inclusive, it should be egalitarian, and it should be forward-looking. And I think, and then when he talked in terms of the digital economy, et cetera, et cetera, which is captured in great detail in the Bali leader statement too, these are all avenues by which we can all get ourselves out of the hole that we unfortunately are in and might face for some time, given the impending recession, perhaps at a regional and perhaps even at a global level. So I think the message was opportunity, inclusion, and the importance of all working together in the same direction. And I would also say over and beyond that, just in terms of personality and his presence, I, 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 one, one can never diminish how important it was that he had that meeting with President Biden, a meeting which went over time, three hours or more, and, and, and hopefully has placed what Mr. Biden himself said going into the meeting was a floor, a concrete floor under the relationship so that people can now look upwards, not downwards, in terms of where the bilateral relationship will go, regardless of it go moving slowly. As long as the progression is upwards, I think that, that is something we will take away gladly. All right, we'll leave it there. Sarah Gupta, great to see you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.